Hey guys, it's X Original Tech, and today I've got something new for you. I'm not really showing you guys a tweak, but I am showing you something new. So, I actually managed to make myself an app, and if you guys have me followed on Twitter, you will know that. But I'm going to show you guys the app now. So, if it's called Everything Jailbreak, and I will show you guys how to get it, but for now I'm just going to show you it. So, here it is, this icon right here. And um, once you click on it, it take you to a loading page and then once it loads up I will show you guys what I post on it it's not, this is not an app that you can download from the app store you will actually have to go into safari to get this app but once you've got to this page it will say new updates and then this will obviously be all the new updates that I bring out so if you slide down you'll see all the new tweaks so as you can see here it says new version of app is available so what all you need to do is click OK and it will update to that newer version so it will just refresh the page and update to that newer version and I also have new Cydia tweaks and videos videos is basically my jailbreak updates so guys definitely go and check that out So these are my new updates and if we go to working tweaks I have a full list of working 7.1 tweaks and as you can see this list is really big but more are coming out so we'll, I will add more so this is what it looks like on the iPhone 4 on the iPhone 5 it will look much more different but this is a full list of 7.1 to 7.1.2 tweaks and I did make it into an app so I, like, I thought you guys might like that so if we go into my videos here I have jailbreak update 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. I'll be adding another jailbreak update if new tweaks or s new um, helpful software come out or new jailbreak tools come out. So definitely go and ch check out my channel and check for new jailbreak updates every now and again. So new tweaks is obviously new tweaks that have come out. So there's interactive notifications and notifications, background manager, dockware, Quasar and I will add more to this list so definitely check out this list and as you guys probably guess when you click on one of them it just takes you to a link so this it will say since this is my website it, when you click on it it will say do you want to open this link in Safari all you have to do is click OK and it will take you to Safari and open my website So it is a really good app, it took me a while to create, so I hope you guys like it. So once this loads up, you will see that it's taken me straight to my website. Um, once you click on the videos, it won't actually take you to Safari. It will actually just take you um, straight to the video. So if I, guess, if I show you that, if I click on this, it will say loading again. Um, this app cannot be backgrounded unless you use background manager kind of like when you were using Cydia it can be backgrounded if you use that so um, if you decide you want to click on a video and not uh, my website it will actually just take you straight to the video so if I click on this video right here which is the best tweaks of the week Then it will take me inside the app, it will take me to a video section, and all I have to do is click play. Um, it is going quite slow here, is because I'm on an iPhone 4 and I'm recording, so that's the only reason it's going slow. But you would usually come up with a kind of YouTube looking play button, all you have to do is click play and it will take you to it. So, as you can see here it's gone dark, because it's trying to show the play button, but, um, yeah, and then it, there it is, so... If you click on this one, obviously it will take you to my Twitter feed showing you guys all of the tweets that I tweet. This will not take you to Safari either, it will just take you straight to my Twitter feed. So definitely go and check out this app. Now to show you guys how to get it. So you're going to need to go into Safari. And if I go into my multitasking bar. and I close that out um, all you're gonna need to do is you're gonna need to go to 
this link right here which is apps.appshed apps.appsheds dot com slash two nine three nine four four obviously I will put that link in the description and once you've gone to it you just click go and it will take you to my website once you're at my website all you need to do it will take you to this website all you need to do is click this button here um, if you're on iOS 6 it, and then or on an iPad it will be in the top left hand corner click that button and click add to home screen once you click that it will say everything jailbreak and all you need to do is click add so once you've added it you this app can be um, used offline if you let it download so once you've gone into it just leave it for a while and it will download the stuff offline so definitely I would definitely recommend this app so this is Xvision Tech please like subscribe and comment and don't forget to share and follow me on Twitter. Peace.